What's up, everybody? It's another fine day. Another fine day at Prison Tale. Feels good this morning. I mean, I didn't sleep very well, but for some reason, I still feel good. Don't ask. Um, but um, yeah, let's uh, let's do some things. We're trying something new this morning. Um, I got a hold of another Mac. I didn't buy this Mac yet. We'll see if I do end up buying it. Um, but I acquired it from Rob since he's not playing the game anymore. And I spec'd it out and did some things to it. And yeah, I do believe it is ready to go now um, for what we are going to be doing this morning or afternoon, depending on where you're at. Um, yeah. So let's just switch over to it, huh? So here they are. Here's the gang. We've got good old me, my character, uh, Ash the 7000. We have Erdin, which is my level 108 mech that I bought. And then we have Adrison, which used to be Mistigan. But I changed the name already because I just felt like changing the name already. Yay, more money for the server. So what are we doing? Well, I did some things earlier this morning when I couldn't sleep. And it was fun. It was something new. Something different. And we're going to try it again. Uh, you know what sucks is I don't have the wing yet for Lost Island. <laughs> or Land of Chaos. So I still need to use a teleport core. Because I still haven't gotten around to that. Let's see here, are the, the switchers working? Oh, how is there already somebody attacking me? Oh, you know what? Um, I need a skill train stone. Pretty sure. On, um, uh, Adrison. I just redid the skills, but I didn't get a stone. Um... Do I have the money? 93 credits. Hmm. I'm going to solve this problem. Uh, I probably have... Oh, are you kidding me? I might have to go back to Rick on this character. Because I think I have skill train stones that I picked up yesterday in Ice 2. Ugh, waste of a teleport core. Organizing three characters is the worst part. Like making sure that they're all good on the gear and good on all the items that you need. <laughs> Game is just not meant to be played this way. Um, That's a mature stone. That's not a skill train stone. Shoot. Uh, Do I have any coins? Oh, you know who does have coins? I think Adrison actually has coins. I think I have some left. Slow start today. Slow start. That's okay, though. All right, there we go. Now he's now he's ready to go on the skills department. All right, let's, set, let's head everybody out, huh? So we are going to do three characters at the same time doing money making so what i was getting at was what i tried this morning was this approach of um excuse me holding the yeah see i'm not gonna be able to get the spawn because there's a bunch of other people oh well there's another spawn um basically holding a really good spawn with uh well a bunch of a bunch of characters at the same time. So we'll just put him like here for now. Uh, I should probably send in the, the big guns before anything else. I haven't done it with three characters yet though. I've done it with, well I did, I technically did it with three characters. I didn't do it with three mechs. I did it with uh, two mechs and an archer. So the archer's only purpose was to uh, buff, right? 
so this will be different. Uh, Goddess, I'll send you an invite here too. So we'll just get the whole gang over there. Hopefully I can keep the spawn. Somebody else has shown up in LOC. Oh wait, what am I doing on this character? This character can only teleport there. All right, let's bring the whole gang. This might be a really dumb idea. I don't know yet, but I want to try it. So what is the goal of what I'm doing here? What is the goal of what I'm doing here? Good question. Let's not ask, let's not ask questions like this. The goal is me being me. That's what it is. Because I can't help myself but do weird, weird, weird shit. I wonder what my favorite class is. That's a good question. Well, already almost dead on one of them. I don't know if I can play four accounts at the same time. Or, sorry, three accounts at the same time doing this. This might just be too confusing. The most I've ever played on stream before is two characters at the same time. Like, play at the same time. This will be something new. The goddess is gonna probably hate me for this. We'll try to we'll try to put up a defensive wall as much as possible. But it's gonna be really hard for me to Oh yep, our really D almost lost one. Alright, this is probably not gonna work. Oh well, it's worth a shot. Man, Rob is not tanky at all. Why are my other characters so much tankier? Oh god, Adris er Airden. No. Why is Rob so not tanky? Compared to my other two characters. Is it because of this bloody knight? Must be. Jesus. Alright, I hate when this happens. Yeah, this is this is impossible. Alright, we're gonna go down to two characters. We're, we're dropping it down to two characters. I can barely, I can barely handle this. Two is a lot easier. Like when you when you're playing three characters, it's hard to like. What do field cores start dropping at the earlier? Field cores never drop. Are you talking like? Uh, are you talking like teleport cores? Because if so, that they don't they don't drop in this version. Alright, this is so much easier. Yeah, it's a premium item. I usually never buy them. Um, if I have them, it's it's only because they've been given to me from, uh, uh, like, rewards or something. But I have them right now because I don't have the wing for LOC yet on this character I'm on right now. Oh 
boy. Yeah, 25 credit seats is pretty 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 steep for what it provides. I will I will admit that. This is why I don't typically buy them. Man, bloody nice got stopped spawning. They're the ones that make this hard. I mean, I guess they are like the mob. But other than that, like this is very easy until you start getting lots of bloody knights. Oh, hi, bloody knight. All my buffs must be running out, huh? Yep, they did not run out. So why mech? Oh, God. How many bloody knights do I have fucking on me right now? Sorry, didn't mean. Um, how many knights do I have on here? Okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna not do this much longer, honestly. We might just switch over to just the 108 mech and just call it there. That's okay, though. Okay, so what I'm going to do here, I drop this core. This mech's going back to town. This this mech went back to town. And we're going to just do the... Alright, let me switch the... Okay. You know, it's funny, when I do this spawn solo, it doesn't feel this hard. When I did this spawn now, it felt really hard. <laughs> what is up with that? Alright. I'll try it again later. I'll start with two, see how comfortable I get. I, I was really comfortable with two this morning. Which is why I thought this wasn't going to be hard. But it was the different spawn, which I think was a big part of it. It was easier to keep track of where everything was at that spawn, because it's the, it's the other spawn here, if you guys know what I'm talking about. And that one tends to be, it's a lot smaller. And it's easier to like control the mobs there, I find, because they're not so sporadic and where they spawn. Whereas over here, it's just kind of a mess. And there's things coming from all over. So mob control becomes very difficult. That's okay, though. It's all about learning. But what we're here to do is make money. So, let's focus on that. At least for now, that's what the goal is. Need some gold. <laughs> I'm so used to virtual life on seasonal. 
I'm like, where's my health regen? Oh wait, that's not how it works here. Well, since we're doing a party thing, let me get out. I don't think, I'm gonna guess that HS won't be available anytime soon. Okay, so. You can see the range of someone else's priestess. Yeah, the, with my mod, as long as they're using um, Holy Reflection, I'll always be able to see. It gets a little annoying when you have a party of like three priestesses, because then you've just got three overlapping circles going across the entirety of the map. But, you know, the price you pay. Why? There we go. It's like, why wouldn't it let me pick stuff up? Yeah, the custom DL. You know what? I'm so used to that DL now. I keep forgetting to switch it back. I, I forget I have it on. <laughs> it just looks totally natural to me after, you know, thousands of times using DL with it being pink like that. Ancient Axe. What levels? Yeah, that's 85. Yeah, just pink lightning, something natural. Well, it was, what it was supposed to be is like pink lasers coming down. That was, that was like the goal I was going for. Like my, my theme on my uh, priestess was um, pink and black. Was what I wanted. And so I went with like a, a hotter pink color. Um, and then like more dark. And then well, pink lightning. Yeah, yeah, it was supposed to be like, the, the thought was like, you know, there's like a thing floating above you that's like just shooting down lasers on everything. Uh, yeah, UFO above me. That's what's doing the circle too. <laughs> um, so the whole reason I was doing this double mech thing this morning was funny. I was, whipper and wand. Um, I was sitting at this spawn over here. <laughs> and I was just sitting there with only this mech. And suddenly... Perfect stats? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Um, suddenly, a bunch of people showed up. Like, four 9Xs, 10Xs, somewhere around there, right? And they were just hovering. They were just hovering by the spawn. I knew what they wanted. They were waiting for the moment I went to sell... They were going to take the spawn from me. In classic PT fashion sometimes. I just I just knew it. So what did I do? I brought my other mech. <laughs> so that way I could use my other mech to pick up drops and sell. While keeping my main mech at the spawn the whole time. So that they could never take the spawn from me. <laughs> they realized what I was doing and after about like 10 minutes of it they all just gave up. <laughs> Stupid little things that you run into with PT. All right, I gotta go sell. Yep, it's not spawn stealing if they take it from you when you vendor. Yep. Yeah, they would have been totally within their rights to take it from me. Um, but I was also totally in my rights to do what I did. <laughs> I think it was these guys right here, actually. Yeah, it was these guys. They must just set up there every day. I think I see them there all the time. So they probably saw me and they were like, well, they're not going to be here that long. I beg to differ. Alright, so I'm probably going to actually need some pots now. I was trying to play it light, but... Uh, I'll be right back, actually, super quick. I just need to grab something.
Okay, back. Um, yeah, it's funny how that works, right? When you start vendoring items that are... Here, can you climb this? You can climb this. I think you can climb this. Maybe you can't climb this. Oh, this map is set up so dumb. They're just, there's such weird little walls and stuff everywhere. I disagree with the developers. The original developers. I'm back! Yeah. I don't know, who was the one who decided to put the vendor there in this map? Was that... Was that, um... PTEU, or...? Like, I think... That could be something that could change. Because I really don't like the the two vendor locations we have in this map, I think, are pretty not great, personally. They're so they're so to the side and there's just like one good spawn next to them and it makes it so that you just wanna be on that one spawn. I think it should be a little bit more evenly distributed. In my mind. Yeah. Yeah, I can throw throw down the suggestion. Let's see here. How do I want to play this right now? So, ooh, that is exactly what I've been needing lately. What I got, goddess. <laughs> um, I've been going through Celestos like mad the last few days. Uh, but that happens when you age up three items to plus 11 within like four days. You, you tend to go through a lot of Celestos. <laughs> I needed to get my uh, my big boy mech all uh, geared up. He wasn't geared for power mech stuff. He was when I bought him. He was geared for auto mech. So I needed to uh, need to get him going. So now we've got a plus eleven Inferno shield. He did come with the shield at least. Uh, but plus eleven Inferno shield, plus eleven Heretic talon, and. Plus 11 Dragon Spear. So we're at all plus 11 105 items. Will I ever get a 108? Probably not. <laughs> Unless I find it myself, I probably will never find it because I never have enough money in this game. I'm just bad with money. Uh, Celestials are decently rare, yeah. I've probably only found, in total, 10. Not that I've really hunted for them all that often, but... Once you get past Divine, Sheltons start to really drop less. Divines drop like water in uh, Ice 2. But, like, Celestos never reach the point where they're dropping so much. Which is why they sell for, like, 8 mil. Right? Yeah, we're never getting that other spawn. <laughs> I think they are, uh... They just camp that thing all day long, which is funny to me because the XP here, unless you're doing the quests, is not that great. Uh, I was doing some tests yesterday, and so I mean, if you're doing your quests, then yeah, it's it's worth it. Uh, the quests here are very long to complete, though. 
but the XP here is actually pretty bad. I, uh, I ran tests yesterday on, um, basically I was trying to figure out solo XP on this specific character, and the conclusion I kind of came to was, well, <laughs> for starters, wait, Freya Road, it's not the 108 robe, it is. Why is somebody selling a 108 plus 10 robe? Did you get a better 108 robe? <laughs> just showing off um what was I even talking about now I'm all over the place this morning ah XP in this map and XP in maps in general Yeah, probably just showing off. <laughs> Nobody shows off in Priston Tail. Sweet, I just finished aging my shield. Let me go stand in town for a few minutes. Nobody ever does that. <laughs> Um, XP. <laughs> this conversation that I'm still trying to finish. Um, yeah, so I tested solo XP on this character because I wanted to see, like, okay, what is the most, most efficient way to gain XP on this character if I'm playing solo? And, um, the conclusion I came to was... Don't play solo. <laughs> that, 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 is, that is basically the conclusion I came to. Solo play is hurt in this game, or in this version of PT. Holy crap. Uh, experience gains, at least at this point in the game now, is terrible. It's sad, actually, um, how much lower it is than a party play. I mean, you want parties to be worth more, you do, but wow, it is a lot less. Like, for example, um, I joined a uh, ice mine. Whoops, that was an accident. Didn't mean to do that. Not trying to chaos you guys. Um, I did an ice mine uh, party with like five other people or whatever they're the, the setup that they do for like high xp gain in ice mine and holy crap the xp was insane i think i got like I, I might be wrong remembering this but i think it was like 300 million in like a half hour and like 20 minutes somewhere around there it was insane um whereas if i go solo even doing like ice mine or doing ET3, we're talking like 150 mil an hour. So this is like 600 mil an hour. I just insanely better. I mean, parties have always been better, <laughs> but like, holy crap! What another one? Tommy, you're not going to believe me when I say Celestas are rare. No. No, it's solo solo quests do not are are not even close to enough to make up for how bad solo play is. But at the same time, you don't want to make the game too good for solo play cuz you do want to have people party. But, oh, I found that bug you were talking about, Tommy. I figured it out yesterday. Well, I mean, I always knew it was there, but I, like, proved it for myself. Um, what I did was I took this mech, 
and I went to CT2 um, without a party. And I was getting like 1k per kill. So and then I partied up with one other character and I was getting like 30k per kill. So yeah, it was just because I was solo, it was punishing me. Like that that isn't right. You're punished enough already being solo, you shouldn't be punished even more. <laughs> yeah, the difference was insane. I mean, I'm 30 levels above that zone. So like it makes sense that they're going to drop my XP considerably. But still, the fact that it doesn't drop for party or what? I, I just that that that's the part that was not right. Yeah, I, I like started a five minute test because that's what I do. Is I, I see what my how much XP I'm at. Um, I spend five minutes fighting and then I see what my XP is at at the end, and that's how I determine what my uh, experience rate gain is. Uh, and as soon as I saw that I was only getting one K XP, <laughs> I just I just abandoned it. The test. I'm like, well, there's no reason to do this test anymore. One <laughs> K XP. <laughs> Need a thousand kills <laughs> just to get a million. Oh, King Fury. I should probably do King Fury at some point. Huh? Uh, take out that system. New, re no reduced XP at all for being higher level. Um, I'd have to think about what the impact that ha that would have. Hello, Fireworms. How are you guys? Yeah, either that or it should apply to parties. The only major effect... Oh yeah, 9 minutes DN. Okay. Uh, I might have to go pick up DN quests, but whatever. We'll be good. Uh, hopefully I turned in my DN from before. Yeah, I did. Okay. Oh, I do have a LOC quest to turn in. So, in the... I, I don't know if the original PT had this... Maybe it did. And maybe I'm just misremembering. This whole, like, gain less XP when it's a lower level map aspect... Um, it's hard to tell because we never had this readout telling us how much XP we gained from things. Um, but we used Dark Sanctuary for so long in those days. Um, we, we used that to level up for ages. <laughs> and um, it makes me think that that wasn't a thing in that version of the game. This spawn is it's really hard to tank for somebody at the spawn. <laughs> There's just always things everywhere. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know. I don't know what the original had in regards to these things. No! Dang it! Uh, I was trying to tank the bl Bloody Knight so that I wasn't attacking her, but then everything else was attacking her. But if I would have moved to the other side, then the Bloody Knight would have been attacking her, and that sucks too. That's, these, these maps are just not pleasant for tanking. <laughs> 
especially when you get into a situation like this, where you have the the three fireworms. I I'd be curious what everybody's thoughts are regarding fireworms. <laughs> you owe me a rebirth. <laughs> um, mobs that are stationary. It's something you only start seeing in these higher level maps. And as a person who loves luring and moving monsters and like getting them into the perfect positions, they absolutely drive me insane. But I understand the challenge that they add. So, you know, just because something bothers me doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. It adds a good challenge, but wow, are they annoying to deal with. Especially when you're just doing a lot of luring and kiting. Like right now, I don't really have much option to attack them, because I need to make sure that I'm at least tanking this Bloody Knight. It is Goddess 52. Excuse me. <laughs> you get you're getting a shout out on the Twitch chat, Goddess. I need to be better at picking up items. I keep getting distracted. Actually, I need to go sell. Did I really get a 90B? Interesting. wall or in that yeah, individual invisible walls always pleasant oh hello everybody fancy seeing you all here I think I just went over to this side out of habit. Probably would have been faster to go to the other side, huh? See, so here, do I try to sell a 90B Talon? Uh, I feel like 90B is still worth almost... Is worth something a little bit above nothing. Right now, probably not, because there's not many people that are... Uh, Lower-ish level. But we'll hold on to it. Two Celestos, though. That's a win. Let's see, it's darkness, huh? So, <laughs> brute, I'm on TV. <laughs> uh, I should probably grab a few pots. Let's go like 
Uh, we got like 90 more or something. Should be fine. I think last time I did darkness on this character, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> that was me on TV. Nice. You know what I just realized yesterday? That for axes and axes, swords, and staffs slash wands, there's a one-hander and a two-hander version of the 108. I did not realize that until yesterday. That's weird. We have two two of two items for one level is weird. That that never has happened before in Kristen Tail that I'm aware of. DN spawned. Yeah, axes there's a there's a two hander axe and there's a one hander axe. All right, let's start grand smashing. If you need me, I'll be doing flips, attacking darkness for the next 10 minutes. See, that's why you gotta play a mech. Everything's your spec. Makes things so much easier. This is a very interesting location for darkness. <laughs> Um, I think the yellow damage thing does still apply to mechs, though, if you use no spec. But other classes, as long as you use your quote-unquote right weapon, then the yellow damage is still a thing. But honestly, I don't know if yellow damage does anything anymore. I know we talked about this before, and I can't remember what we figured out. Yeah. Does anybody know what the wild thornberries is? God, this is either gonna age me a lot or something. Cause I was, when I started this and I was like, oh, I have to grand smash. Then I started thinking about uh, Nigel from wild thornberries saying smashing. I couldn't get it out of my head. <laughs> Darkness. Yeah, typical I think this might be one of the faster darkness fights that I've done so far. We were ready today. Alright, sure. Why not?
that it? Is there only one item? <laughs> one item and it's level 85 gauntlets. Woo! Man, don't spend it all at once. All right, looks like we might have lost our spawn to uh, Amphi. So that's cool. But that's the way the game is played. Um, well then. Wait, is Amphi actually stealing our spawn, or is she just kind of close by? I'm going to go check. Ah! Oh, she is. She's doing the lure -y thing. Okay, yeah, she's got it. Um. Well... There's a mediocre spawn up here. Any ideas, goddess? Uh, I do this one sometimes. When I when all else fails, it's not as great because it's very spread out. Oh wait, there's another one. Wait, there's another one, Goddess. I found one the other day. Um. Yeah, yeah, the west side one. I I had forgotten about this one. What I miss is maps that are like DS where it's like it has this like area that is like dedicated hell spawn, right? Like the way DS is, it's got like this zone that's like an offshoot and you're like, oh, that's the hell spawn, all right. Whereas these other maps, it's like, yeah, we'll put it right here. <laughs> and then we're like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll put one up here. The, uh, the Endless Tower maps are notorious for that. Like, they have these areas that look like they should be dedicated hell spawns, and then you walk into them and it's just like, nothing. There's like, two spawn flags. Makes me very sad. Uh, well, this character's 108, Tommy, so. What? What about? Oh, it's back. Oh, the main spawns. Ah, run! They left. <laughs> run. God, it's good job paying attention to that. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. Everything is right in the world.
Um, a full party of six with more high levels. Yeah, that might be the thing. I get, I was just comparing solo XP. Uh, did I start at 0% with this character? Uh, do you mean that I start this character from level 1? Or what do you mean by that? Because I, I bought this character at 108. Oh, yeah, no, he was at 60%. <laughs> I've gained 7 whole percent. Which, to be fair, is like... Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of XP. <laughs> but... Like, what was it? I gained 1% yesterday. Um, in that Ice Mine party. And... I think I gained over 300 mil or something. I don't know. I'd have to work figure out what the exact math was, but it was something like that. Levels are just ridiculous at this point. I don't even play this character to level. I play this character just to have fun and do other things. <laughs> if I gain a level, I gain a level. Speaking of which, we're doing this... I'll ask if Goddess wants to do hunt mode. So we get bonus money money. Or if we want some XP. Yeah. Because I'm down with just doing this for hunt mode. Yeah, hunt is a lot less XP, but like I said, the XP here. So when I was soloing this, I was getting about a mil a minute. Or a mil every 10 minutes wait what was it no it was a mil a minute I think yeah so it was, it was 60 mil 60 mil an hour which is just very bad it's like sure you could gain Tiny bits of money, or sorry, tiny bits of XP. Mirage near Goddess. Did she get it? Or are you just messing with me? I did get a Mirage here earlier today. Oh my god, Mirage? Yeah, 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 shut up. I'll still take it. I need money, okay? I'll, uh, I'll take whatever can get me money. Uh, yeah, I mean, the technically the other mech is costing us some XP, but whatever. I could probably bring him back now that we're at this spawn, but I just honestly don't want to deal with the stream and multi-accounting or multiplayering. If my shaman was uh, 95, I'd probably bring him here. Um, I actually think it's good the way it works, Tommy, because it shouldn't, like, if somebody's AFK, like, you don't want people to just, like, go to town when they're in a party and, like, not tell anybody, and then they just sit there, and then you're like, oh, well, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to kick them. Oh, wow, this is a almost perfect block mech spec gladiator shield. Um... 
anybody in chat need it? Because uh, I will give that. Or I will just NPC it. I'll NPC it on the next run. So you have like five minutes to claim it if you want it. Keep in mind, it's a 75 shield, so you can respec it without a Jira. This was something I used quite a lot on uh, Seasonal. Use the 75 shield because it has good block rating. Oh, that's probably why everybody left. They probably maybe wants to go do King Fury. Well, I'm not going to do King Fury. I guess what I'm saying, Tommy, is that it, it's not, it's, uh, yeah, I wouldn't say they get XP if they're away. What I'm saying is they take up space. Um, like, people don't feel as incentivized to remove people from the party if they're not doing anything, if they don't have some kind of negative effect on the party itself by them being not there. So you end up, like, filling the party up with slots of people who are just AFK in town because they will be back eventually, and nobody cares to boot them because it's not actually causing a negative um, effect on the party. So, like, it's good to always try to keep the parties as open as possible. So that, that's kind of what I'm saying. You want people to be incentivized to remove those that are not there. Yeah, I mean, I agree that you definitely run into most people don't really even realize it, but it's there at least. So, like, you can at least tell people. <laughs> and Oh, no, how? What? No, what? How did that happen? Did I pull, like, just too far away? I was rebuffing. Might have gone just too far away while I was using all my buffs. Okay, that's two rebirths, I owe her. I'll start, uh... I'll add it to my, uh... I'll add it to my bill. I don't know what happened. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I am not used to playing a tank. I love mech, but man, t playing tank is just not something I normally do. I'm not even purposely trying to play this build as tank. It just so happens that with how I built it, soloing IM and ET3, it just so happens that it also means that I'm tanky. Hey, look, Mirage. Javelin. Oh, uh, my third eye only has 19 minutes left on it. Whoops. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I'm gonna definitely need to get that replaced. I think I have enough points for that. See, see I'm so bad at tanking. Should I give my golem a name? You know, I think that would be a cool feature if you could actually, like, legit name your pets. Like, every time it spawned, it would just show that name instead. That you chose. That'd be kind of fun. Still trying to figure out how to properly change the um, monster that you spawn as a pet. Because I want that to be something that can be like an option eventually. Like, you can make your Metal Golem be a wolf instead. If you pay for the item. Cosmetics, right? I think that would be fun. Uh, but I'm still trying to figure out the... I ran into some problems. I was able to get it to work. Uh, I had my archer have a metal golem. But it didn't have any animations. So I'm not entirely sure. I think that must be something on the client side that needs to get modified in order to make that work right. Oh, if anybody who's watching needs, like, 7x gear or something, just, uh, type what you need in chat. And, uh, I'll pay attention to when I'm NPCing stuff and try to save it for you. Because, obviously, we're just getting rid of a lot of stuff right now. But if somebody could use it, it's just very rare that people can use these things these days, so... I even found a bunch of 9x stuff when I was doing my uh, Lost Temple things, and it's like, even that? Nah. Couldn't sell anything.
Uh oh. Nope, 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 don't. Man, I can't wait till my priestess can be on uh, Babel. Can't wait till the merge. I miss my priestess. I just feel like focusing on Babel now. Technically, the most efficient way to play this build is to swap. <laughs> she'll she'll never let me live that down. Um, technically, the best way to play this character is when single target fighting, to swap over to Grand Smash. I'm just being lazy. Oh, I need to sell too. Are they trying? Yep, they are trying to get the spawn back. They're gonna hover. They're gonna do what they did before. <laughs> Yo, Ashy Larry. I guess I'm Ashy Larry now. They coming back? Yep. <laughs> Here they all come again. They went for uh, LB, it looks like. Oh, sorry, uh, KF. Just, just had to say that. Oh boy. God, we're in one of those awkward moments again. You know the funny part from my perspective is that like if they weren't just hovering I wouldn't feel the need to want to hold the spawn very heavily. I'd just be like, yeah, you know, when I feel like finishing this I'll be, you know, move on to something else. But just the fact that they're doing this makes me want to not leave. It's very childish behavior, I know, but like...
No, guys, there's other spawns on the map. When we didn't get the spawn we wanted, we just moved to a different spawn. It's not that hard. That's how the game works. Hot 108 stuff yet? Oh, the 108 hunt has gone very poorly. I think the part that of SL that's really angering me is just the fact that it drops. I, I know people were complaining about this. I don't understand why people complained about this, honestly. But like the fact that the map drops nothing basically, but 108s and 105 and 102 weapons, honestly bothers me. Like. Having it drop more weapons isn't going to lower the drop rate chance of 108 items. It's just going to give you more to do. Like, they, they are not... They don't affect the, the each, each other. But right now, it's just like, you kill so many things and just nothing. Just nothing. Like, at least give me NPC crap. <laughs> like, I just... I get so bored. <laughs> But everybody complained because they thought in their mind that every time something dropped, every time something dropped, they thought because it wasn't a 108 item, that means it took away their chance of a 108 item, which is just totally wrong. That's not how it works. So, people literally asked for this. <laughs> yeah, I'll... I'll try to explain it a little bit more. I mean, I, honestly, this is... This is why I got the 108 character, right? Like, I wanted to experience this from a user's perspective. Like, an end player's perspective. Am I stuck... Damn it. See, God Hunter, I didn't even know that 100s could drop there. You want to know why? Because I've only ever seen one item drop so far in SL. A 102 uh, mace. Or hammer, I guess. I still, I can't believe I've only ever seen one item drop in all the time I've spent there. That's what's like, just killed my motivation. Should get a lot more of those. Oops, what am I doing? Alright, I'll be right back again.
Uh, totally just realized that was muted. Uh, <laughs> so that perfect Dreadnought Spear, mech spec level one. Um, can I get that? Or are you just going to NPC that? Because if you're just going to NPC that, um, I will take that. I have use cases for it. <laughs> Wait, what's going on here? Were we try were they trying to rob it from us? You're going to want to be real careful what you're doing. No. I think one of my other things that I love to just be a absolute jerk about in this game is people think that regen priestesses are like the greatest thing in the world and I'll just be like nah I don't need them we're good I just don't like playing with regen priestess attack priestess is so much better Yeah, regen is just, just dumb. So like if I'm like the leader of a party and say we're like full on space and then somebody else shows up and one of our players is a regen priest and I'm like, well, guess we're going to boot the AFK regen, regen priestess because uh, I'd rather have an actual player than an AFK regen priestess. Even if it is a little bit nicer, it's boring. Why is my damage low? You're talking my sparks? Oh, I know why it's low. I don't have a force on. But also, this character doesn't have very high damage with sparks. Um. So, the thing that this build does is each individual spark is low, but... It's very fast skill. You can have it if regen stays. I'm willing to sacrifice a dreadnought spear for regen. Um So the advantages of Spark are it has an unlimited number of targets that it can hit, it can't miss, and it's very fast. So damage numbers look very low. Oh, also the area of effect is huge. So like Nobody ever uses it because they see the lower damage numbers and it instantly the thought is, well, this is terrible. Um, but honestly, from a, from a hunt mode standpoint in like higher level maps. So if you compare this build to a standard power mech build, I can actually kill more things faster assuming I have a spawn of at least three monsters 
than a power mech. I cannot outkill an auto mech. Because, well, it's an auto mech. But that was never my goal. I just didn't want to play auto anymore. And single target uh, power mech wasn't my thing either. So, like, what are what are my other options I could be doing right now? I could be doing an impulsion-based build. Oh, what's up, 7-Up? Sure. I'll invite seven up. Oh, I gotta sell too. So like, the, the important part to think about when it comes to this type of build is it's AoE, right? Every spark I throw is doing 600 damage. That is incredibly small. But, Say I have five targets, then I'm doing 3,000 damage per spark. Spark has a one second cast time. So in one second, I'm doing 3,000 damage. You compare that to a single target skill like Grand Smash, where in one second it's doing like 1,200 damage. So you're obviously going to outdo it because, well, it's an AoE skill and that's just the way it is. Um, okay, so then the question can be, why don't you just use Impulsion? Impulsion is the one that typically people would use. It does out damage Spark. There's a few negatives to Impulsion. One, it can miss. Spark can't miss. Two, um, it requires you to get really close to, to the monsters, uh, which is what I don't want to do with this build since it's designed around taking on high-level maps solo. Um... So the last thing I want to do is get really close. I want to be able to kite. Uh, and then also, Spark has an unlimited number of targets it can hit. Whereas, you are limited to seven monsters with Impulsion. So, there's enough advantages in my mind to make up for the low damage numbers. Obviously, if it was higher damage, I'd be happier. You want them flag drops thing, gimme. Just Google Priston Tail Flag Mod, you'll find it. I didn't make this. This was made by Sunny. Sunny Z. And then I think modded by somebody else after he made it. So the big negative though of this build is party play. You can't sustain a nice grouping of mobs in front of you. It's pointless, so you have to switch to Grand Smash. Which is fine. That's why I leveled up Grand Smash also. So then it's just a power mech build. switch to Grand Smash for a bit. It's it's the with three people now it's 
spark has become pointless. And I'm also going to switch to maximize. Good, goodbye tanking. What do I want Spear for? Uh, I've got a 98 mech. That's gonna need a... That's gonna need something. And I prefer using scythes over hammers for my builds. There's no real reason, it's just preference. They basically do the same DPS. The only advantage of hammers is because of the attack rating increase on uh, um, Grand Smash, but, like, whatever. I think I'm just old school in why I like Scythes, because Scythes were, like, the power mech weapon of choice back in the day. Come to Palai. I am actually in Palai already with him. <laughs> I'll be at Warehouse. His name is, uh, God, I already forgot what I renamed him. Adjerson. <laughs> but I owe you then. Well, I mean, I will, I will repay you. Just, I will not repay you in regen. Alright, thanks, dude. Like, I'm not sure if I fully understand the hatred of AoE skills in high-level maps that people seem to have on melee characters. If you, I mean, maybe not hatred, just people don't seem to like... Like, why, why Grand Cross right now, right? Like, I get it's an undead mob, so it's bonus damage. But, like, why wouldn't you be doing the... Bear with me, I can't remember the name of the skill. But why wouldn't you be doing that on this? You would be doing more damage overall. But if you hit all three of those with that skill... Uh, not Brandish. I'm talking the Tier 4 skill. The Tier 4 AoE skill. Or Piercing. That too. Like, wouldn't that be more damage? I mean, yeah, the single, um, the, the, in, the amounts you see will be lower, but overall it'll be 
better? I don't know. I, I've noticed that when I came to the server, was that so many people just focus on single targets. And AoE seems to have been forgotten. Yeah, I mean, and, th and that's fair from 7-Up. If you're not leveling up the skill, then I guess that makes sense. That you wouldn't be using it right now. Uh, Holy Valor doesn't work on AoE skills. Does it matter, though? I mean, all we're talking is that you just need to out-damage what a single target skill does. Your damage numbers are going to be lower. Like, that's that's a given. It's going to feel like, from an individual target standpoint, you're doing less damage. But will it really be less damage? Oh, Phoenix Shot is a completely different story. Um, uh, yeah, no, I, I know Phoenix Shot is a different story. Phoenix Shot is an, is an interesting skill uh, for 1v1s because it can't miss. It's different than most 1v1 skills in the game. Um, and it also has incredibly high damage and it has no cooldown. So you combine all three of those things and it becomes way, way overpowered. For a single target skill. Like they're supposed to be like balancing things for a single target skill and that skill doesn't really have any of them. I think it's just because of the way it works on this server. It's uh, kind of broken. Um, because I think it used to be you'd have to charge it in order for it to do the damage that it's supposed to do. Or something. I, it's like doing a lot of damage without a charge. Is basically what the problem is right now. Whereas it didn't used to be that way. Charge was only to get AoE damage. I th wasn't that the intent in the original game, but it never worked? Because Archer was like my main. It was really small. Okay. Or one of my mains. Mech and Archer have always been my two mains. But I thought there was some like thing with it. Well, uh, I will reveal this here, everybody. You know. Get your little bits of information about the skill update. Um, maybe we've actually already revealed this. I don't remember. Uh, charged Phoenix Shot will do... Actually, well... Okay, subject to change what I'm going to say. But, as of right now, regular Phoenix Shot will do AoE damage. That will be slightly worse than Perforation. Charged Phoenix Shot will do AoE damage. That is way better than Perforation. That's where it's currently at right now. So it gives you, like, a reason to charge to deal, like, an insane amount of AoE damage in, a sh in like, a quick burst. That's kind of where Phoenix Shot is being positioned right now. In terms of single target a skill, to replace Phoenix Shot as the single target skill, Avalanche is being shifted kind of into that role. Because it's a very high risk, high reward type of skill. Yes, yes, yes. People will be upset about that.
<laughs> Might as well delete Archer then. You haven't even seen what the changes are. You just know from my explanation. People said the same thing about priestesses, yet people like priestess on seasonal. Archers have no perks over other classes. Trust me, we're we're <laughs> No, see, you got to you got to not think about it that way. You you're thinking like just because one skill gets removed, that that means nothing else will be changed. You're thinking of it in its current state with what it has removed. Don't don't think about it that way. We're aware that archer underperforms compared to other classes. That is 100% known. And things are adjusted accordingly for that. It's like Archer's thing should be a very high damage, very high risk class. That should be what it is. Because that like makes sense as an Archer, right? So like... Mirage, Mirage, Mirage. So like you got to think about the entire class as a whole. Not just as this one skill being gone, meaning that everything's going to be worse. Like, Avalanche in its current state is absolutely horrible, right? Like, even the amount of attacks it does is horrible. It's too risky. Okay, I see this argument made all the time. Base it on high-level play. Base it on high-level play is what people say. You know the majority of people that play the game are not high level players right like the people understand this right like yes there's high level players but that's not the majority of players it might be on babel right now but like in general it's not Also, there's always adaptation. 1 to 95 is two weeks if you're a really hardcore player. The majority of people that play Priston Tale AU are people coming back to the game to just casually have a fun time with a game that they loved when they were a kid. And then they quit after a month. But that's like a good amount of players of the game. But, okay, so let's just ignore, like, what I just said in regards to all that. The other thing about high-level play is high-level play is adaptive. Like, these are players that know what they're doing in the game, that have played it for a long time. Meta changes aren't the worst thing in the world. It just means you have to figure out how you're going to do it again. An example can be applied to what happened with Seasonal. Because there was no regen, they came up with a new way to play for the higher-level maps. That's just what happens. You have to adapt to the new situation. It doesn't necessarily mean it's worse. It's just something different. But again, you're only thinking about Archer in its current state. You're not thinking about what we are like already, we, we already know that these are problems. And so like changes will be made to everything. 
So like, like I guess one one example I could put it is right now you say that you know like Phoenix Shot is a really good single target skill, and removing Phoenix Shot removes a good single target skill. But what if I told you that with the new like way of doing things, they would have even better single target damage. It just wouldn't be Phoenix Shot anymore. It's just adapting to a new situation. Because with like the ideas that are currently being worked through, that is what the situation would be like. They would have even more damage than they currently have. What <laughs> God Hunter, what do you think we're doing? We are comparing it against other classes. This is this is all being taken into account. Like the the whole is being looked at. The everything. <laughs> where every class falls in this game and how they can be balanced according to that. When we talk about skill balancing, we're not talking about balancing the skills relative to the character itself. We're talking about balancing the skills relative to every single character in the game. We're talking about class balancing. in some ideal perfect world where every single class I mean this is the perfect world that'll never exist but like the goal would be to make it so that every single class is viable and that like every skill can be worth it to put skill points into something that PT has never had before and that opens up so much more variety of play styles instead of always focusing towards metas Is it possible to actually do this? Probably not. That's a lot of work. But it's an idea to shoot for. And see, I hear that argument too, Ragnar, where it does no longer feels classic with a lot of changes. This version of PT isn't classic. Phoenix Shot was not that great. Avalanche was your go-to 1v1 skill in classic PT. Classic PT, regen field was shit. It literally did like nothing. In this version of PT, it does differently. Like, people's opinion of what classic is, is like what PTEU is they're they're for, they're like looking at the past with like rose colored glasses <laughs> or rose tinted glasses whatever the term is thinking that classic was so much better than what it really is
Oh, uh, I'm gonna need to do my uh, SOD run at some point here, huh? Anyway, I should probably get off this topic because it's just gonna come back to bite me in some way. try to not be so vocal about these things anymore since becoming a dev because I just don't think it I don't think it's it's not good for the community I don't think but kind of got on a little tangent here today You know, it's great how much money you can make doing this, but, like, man, when you compare this to just, like, selling a couple XP pots, God. You know, the argument of how much is your time worth <laughs> can come up. I mean, I find this fun, so at least there's, like, a gain in that regard, but, like, you know, an hour of work is, like, $3. kind of depressing when you start thinking about it in those terms. <laughs> So what else to do today in the world of Priston Tale? Definitely not going to do this all day. I do need to make an SOD run like I was talking about. I think my, my highest last week was 3.2. Um, I'm not entirely sure how... Um, what's his name? August got 3.6 mil. I have been, I, I, I basically spent the week doing a lot of SOD runs at times and trying to figure out like, what is it that I'm, is, is there something that I'm missing? I tried, um, different luring mechanics 
to try to see if like my spark uh, my spark lures were good enough uh, and I tried a couple of different approaches I tried a back and forth approach I tried a circle approach um, neither of them gave me any more score they actually like made my score worse so like what I'm finding to be the best is just stand in middle and just make sure you're getting out as much sparks as possible so that means reducing the amount of time you're walking towards the target. So always try to aim for something that's close by. Um, basically spam clicking like crazy. So that you're always outputting. <laughs> you're just always outputting sparks. Right. Uh, spark shield is the go-to. Is what I found. I tested with a scythe. And it just wasn't as good as Spark Shield. You just, you can't deny that bonus. Actually, me and Spec both went in at the exact same time once. And uh, I went with, um... Uh, I went with a Scythe, he went with Spark Shield, and he outscored me. We actually stayed pretty even the entire time. It was the uh, Phygon round that just completely he destroyed me. Because he could get all the kills on Phygons without, like, having to do anything. Whereas I had to move towards them. So, I'm trying to figure out what is going to be the best approach. I, and I'm just, I'm not seeing anything that I could do that's different. Obviously, having higher aged items is important. And using a proper force. Uh, well, on my 3-2, I wasn't using a Bellum. I think I was using an Enigma. So, obviously, there's probably like 100k sitting right there. Um, my shield was not plus 11 yet. So, that's some block rating on Spark Shield that's gone. Which is lost damage. Um... What else did I screw up? I'm not sure if I was properly... Um, I was using Maximize. Oh, I feel like I lost Spark Shield at one point for a little bit. And didn't catch it in time. So again, more lost damage. So I'm maybe looking at a 3-4. Perfect. Perfect round 3-4. Um, so the 3-6 that he got... I gotta imagine he just got really lucky with bombs. I, I just... I can't see how else you get a 3-6 as a mech. Unless there's really just something that I'm missing. But I've looked into most approaches. Okay, there's one other thing that I need to look into, actually. And that is... I I've been told that this doesn't help anything, but I want to look into it myself. Uh, automation on darkness. Instead of sparking him. I don't think it should help, though. I think it should actually be worse. So I can kill darkness with just spark. And when I do that, then I'm able to... Um, kill other mobs while killing darkness with spark so as long as I position myself correctly I can get a lot of kills in the final round while killing darkness but people have said that they use automation on darkness but to me that's so much lost killing because you're like sure you get darkness down really quick but you're not doing any AOE damage during that time. Which is so much lost points. So I can't see it being better. But I don't know. Maybe that's how we did it. It's just like the amount of time it'll save you I don't think can get you 400k, 200k, whatever worth of points. That, that's not possible in that round, I don't think.
Oh no, got us. Oh no, got us. Well, I think in total today I've probably made about 10 million doing this. And I suppose I dropped the Mirage too, so and two Celestos. So I guess that definitely pays for itself. Uh, ranged or melee should deal more damage. Melee, melee is riskier. Well, I guess it depends on the. Hmm. It depends on the situation. I don't know. That's a. Uh... Melee should have more damage. It's more risky. I don't know. It. it... Melee is more risky, but it's also in some ways not more risky, like, than, say, an archer. Because an archer can be, like, one shot dead. So, you're very glass cannon. I guess maybe... I can't really give a specific answer to that. I think more it's what is the class's purpose. What is the class's role? And that depends on what its damage should be. Like... Uh, like... Like, mech is tankier, so mech should do less damage because it's tankier. If you're doing a tank build on a mech. Um, fighter is not tanky at all, so it should have higher damage. Knight is, like, the middle all-around character, so its damage should be middle-ish compared to the other extremes. Pike is... Honestly, I don't know with Pike. Pike is like some weird thing. <laughs> uh, do I party a lot in Kelevezu? Uh, I did yesterday. I was trying it out. I, uh, I, I, I put my whole team in there and, uh, Goddess was there too and we tried to see what we could get for like money and stuff and I don't know it just didn't feel worth it Yeah, that's where I'm like, like Pike kind of like, sure they're two-handed, but like they're also tanky and I don't know, it's a little, I, don't know, I gotta think more on Pike.
feel like doing flips right now. Does anybody know if hammers or scythes have a longer reach when it comes to Grand Smash? I feel like it's scythes, but honestly I haven't used hammer that much with Grand Smash. I'm usually much of a hammer person. This ain't gonna be good. Man, all right, I'm starting to feel the lack of sleep I got last night affecting me. I definitely feel it hitting me now. I knew it was just a matter of time. Ah, stop stunning me. Do I not have a Rip Core? Lame. Guess we're going to the worst city. The worst of the two cities. Well, that spawn's opened up if uh, anybody was watching that was part of that group. All right, everybody. I think that's going to call it for uh, this morning, at least. I might get back on later, but I am really tired. So I think I'm going to call it. It's just going to be a two-hour stream this morning, but it's what it is. Uh, thank you, everybody, for coming by, as always. And I hope you guys have yourselves a good day of Priston Tale or whatever you are up to. And uh, I will see you again at a different time. So long, everybody. <laughs>